morning, Sunday the 11th. So usually I'm posting videos of going to the gym and my workouts because that's what I do for a living. But today I'm gonna do something a little different. I have a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee diesel 3.0 and I'm gonna plastic dip all the chrome. I'll show you what I've done to it and things of that nature. But first I'm gonna take it to my boy at Herman, her name is Herman at Vegas Auto Detail. I'm gonna get it washed, fully washed and dried right now before I even attempt to plastic dip it. So the first thing in the process is the beast is gonna go get washed. So here we go. I just got here, time to get it washed. Gonna get it washed real quick, get all that dirt off of it. That way nothing sticks to it. Um, they said online that what I read about plastic dip is you gotta make sure everything is clean, everything is, all that dirt's out. We're in Cali right now, it's about 101 right now at seven. So gonna, it'll be really dry by the time I get home. I'll let it sit for a little bit. I'll air it out again, and then I'll start wrapping it up, taping it up, and getting ready to plastic dip all the probes. All right, so just got back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for a little bit, let it get nice and warm, dry everything out, put it in the garage, I'm gonna air it all out again, I'm gonna start wrapping it up and start getting ready to spray. All right, so I let it sit out for about maybe an hour in the sun. Everything seems pretty dry, actually seems pretty warm. So I'm gonna back it in the garage, I'm gonna take some air to it, I'm gonna run the air through it one more time, make sure everything is dry, start taping it up, and then start spraying. All right, so I just backed it into the garage. I'm gonna take the air, air everything out of what I'm gonna chrome dip. So I'm gonna chrome, dip, plastic dip, I should say. I'm gonna do the plastic dip on all the window trim, on the back lights, on the front and back bumper vessels. I'm gonna do the door handles. I'm gonna do the fog lights, and up here, these are chrome, but I can actually remove these. So I'm gonna remove them and I'm just gonna spray them outside. So, oh, I'm also gonna do the mirror. So I'll take you step by step of what I'm gonna do. So here we go. All right, so one advantage of having it sitting outside and also that the temperature is really hot, everything's dry. So I'm just gonna go through it really fast one more time um, all around the car and start taping it. All right, so first thing I'm doing is I just took off the cargo rails. Basically, it's four simple bolts. Go on there, you need like an Allen screwdriver. Comes in the plastic in the middle as a little insert. You just take this off, push the insert in, takes two minutes to take off. So I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to clean all the chrome with uh, rubbing alcohol. Let it dry out again. And then I'm going to spray it. There you go. This is a little bit better with light. So as you can see, there's this little plastic thing. All you need is really a screwdriver. A, uh, a Phillips screwdriver. You just push it in. It'll pop right out. Just like that, boom, see, simple. All right, so I set them up, um, the chrome rails on these workhorses, as you can see. And let me flip this over. That should be better, so that's what I did. So now, I'm just gonna start spraying it. Getting a light coat on them. Just like that. All 
All right, I'm gonna time it for about 10 minutes. I'll go back and keep spraying the layers on it. While that's happening, I'm gonna start masking everything off, getting everything to start um, plastic dipping all the chrome. All right, so I just finished plastic dipping them, as you can see. They almost look like they're pretty done. I added a little bit more, more than five coats. And that's because I forgot to paint the inside of it. So between five and six coats, you're good. Um, these are done. I'm gonna let them dry out for more than 30 minutes and then I'll install them when everything is done. All right, so finally done wrapping everything up. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna walk around the car. It took me forever to wrap this thing. So I'm also kind of anal, so I wanted to make sure that everything was covered up. Some things, some things I wasn't sure if the plastic tip was gonna come off, so I just completely, let me go this way. So I completely just covered it all completely up. Maybe I'm just being too precautious, but who knows. So I'm gonna clean off the chrome all one more time. Make sure it's all clean. There's no specks or anything on there. And I'm gonna spray it. All right, so I used actually rubbing alcohol just on a um, shop towel. Wiped it down. Then I took a terry cloth right after it and just dried it off. Make sure everything, the grease is off and everything. So I've done that. So now it's time for spray. So I'm gonna start um, spraying with the plastic dip. I'm gonna time it every 10 minutes, I'm gonna re-quote it, and then after I'm done, I'll wait a complete 30 minutes, and then I'll start stripping everything off. All right, first coat is done. Just spray it really fast. You can tell there's a lot of missing pieces. Here's the front vessel. Here. Back lights, vessel. All right, so I will start the timer, and then in 10 minutes, I will redo it again. All right, just did four coats. As you can see, it's really coming along. It's looking good. I'm coming up real good. I think when I'm said and done, I'm probably gonna do about six to seven coats, just to make sure everything is covered. Fog lights from Bessel mirror kind of hit it twice um, I kind of tabbed it there's one niche right there that I fucked up on and back here I fucked up on it a little bit hopefully the plastic will cover it up it is what it is if I need to redo it over I'll redo it over but so far it's looking good door handles window trim we're in the back, back lights, and the chrome vessel in the back, all covered up. All right, so as of right now, it's all looking pretty good. Um, it's really gonna come down to when I start peeling it all off. So I'm probably gonna do, I've done four coats already. I'm probably gonna do three more, just cause I wanna make sure it's all covered, sealed, and done. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I've done five coats already let me go this way this all looks pretty good really well covered i'm gonna do one more i'm gonna do six then i'm gonna wait 30 minutes then i'm gonna start peeling it start taking everything off but so far it looks pretty good i was even able to fix those two fuck ups that i did on the mirror one was right here in the corner. I was able to just tab it. Old trick. That one's still there, but it is what it is. It can be, always be a rock chip. Here's the other side. Let me go back. There's the back. Where is it? There we go. There's the vessel. All right, so I'm going to take it. I'm going to... Give it one more coat, so six coats. I'm gonna let let it rate. Blah. I'm gonna let it dry for 30 minutes. I'm gonna start peeling it. Then I'm gonna roll it out, and then you can see the finished product. See what it looks like. So just finished the final coat. I'm gonna walk around so you guys can see it. It's pretty hot here. Actually, let me flip this camera real quick. 
All right, so here we go. This is what the uh, window trim looks like. Door handles. As of right now, I'm very happy the way it looks. However, let's see how much work it is to get fog lights from Bessel, bumper Bessel, another fog light. Then here's another mirror. Like I said, I fucked it up a little bit. So that looks like a chip. I fixed the corner here. Another window trim. That looks completely done. Door handles are done. Let's head in the back. Here are the tail lights. Chrome's gone there. Rear bezel. All done. All done. And okay, so according to the instructions, is you're supposed to leave it for 30 minutes, uh, depending on temperature and humidity. However, it's a little humid, and it is a little hot here in California. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 20 minutes, and I'm going to start ripping it off then. Um, I think 30 minutes can be a little bit too long now. All right, so I just unwrapped it. As you can see, mirrors look good. Everything looks good except that on the other side, the frame has fucked up. As you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel it off. Just the sections, tape it off, and re-spray re it. That's the advantage of this which is cool. Just like the front bezel here was a mess. And all you do is go like this and it all comes off. So I'm gonna take this off. And I'm just gonna redo it. So gotta touch up the fog lights a little bit. But what's cool now is that I just know that I just have to tape it off real fast, spray it and I'm good. So, um, all in all, I'll show the finished product when it's done. This is better. I'll show the finished product when it's done, probably tomorrow, so you guys can see it in the sun. Um, I'm very happy with the product. I think plastic dip is great. Um, I think it'll last a long time. Just, um, you just gotta trial and error. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys two days after I just plastic dipped it, see um, how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna start it back from the back. As you can see, there's the back bezel. Here are the back lights. Kind of fix, gotta fix this just a little bit. I think some tape right there. That's about it. There, fix it right there. Here's the other back light. Here is the trim. The trim came out really, really good. So do the door handles. There's the rails mirrors here is the front vessel they came out clean too fog lights the other mirror and the window trim as well came out clean rail as well so like i said all in all i'm very very happy with it i'm gonna let it sit for two weeks and i'm gonna get it washed and all cleaned out